First, I must say thank you to John Peters for showing everything he could on the live stream. Hopefully, he still has his job. Well, if you missed the live stream, then you missed a good one because we basically saw everything. All the hammer skills, mason axe skills, dwarf and demon legendary stance skills, down skills, and even the traits. They weren't even done yet. And I totally forgot they showed us updrafts. Uh... There's nothing more to say about it. It's exactly what we thought it was. Updrafts, they shoot you up and they refill your stamina. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and let's not forget they dropped another bomb. Stability will no longer stack duration and stop all CC. It will now stack like might and each CC takes off one stack. Like I said in the last video, controller's coming back, baby. Also, John <laughs> accidentally clicked on a dragon and showed off the new defiance bar. This bar was also shown when he was taunting another mob before. There isn't much information about it, so I'm not going to talk about it because I'll just get everyone angry. Also, the dev said that there is more information to it. The plot thickens. Anyways, if you want to look at all the details of what happened on the live stream, there's an awesome post on ugh, Reddit. Now time to get down to business. Most of the skills look pretty fantastic in my opinion. The hammer 2 skill with the groundbreaking, the dwarf stance number 8 upkeep skill with the freaking hammer spinning around all over the place. The dwarf stance number 9 looks like something out of wild. Long story short, most of the skills look great. Even when you switch between legends, it looks cool. Way better than the other classes. But what's with the hammer auto attack skill? What is this? This can't can't be finished is something wrong with her back ain't it please fix her back so she can properly throw the hammer the energy mechanics were pretty interesting weapon skills don't cost much but the legendary skills cost a ton energy seems to regen pretty fast with arrows to indicate how fast it's going up or down but when you get out of combat your energy resets to 50 percent just like when you swap legends so you can't just be out of combat with 100 percent energy ready to explode some poor generic hammer warrior in worldly world but let me be serious none of these legend skills can one shot somebody but they don't have a cooldown including your elites it just costs energy now it may sound overpowered and i may joke around a lot but let's actually play it i mean sure the revenant does have the new boon status effect and condition and all the other classes only get it in their specializations but still let's just wait a second it's not even finished yet, it only has like three trait lines, but I definitely like the playstyle that they're going for. Is a necro stacking tons of conditions on you? Switch to demon stance and pop your elite, which copies all your conditions to your nearby enemies. Every three seconds. Ugh. Anyways, thanks to John, we have a ton of traits to look at here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, I just. Oh, I just oh, moused John. over one by. Do it. Oh, oops. Oh, oh no. I just moused over so, the Do it, thing. do it, do it. Alright, maybe I should do- There are quite a few interesting ones here, like not boring, could be fun depending on your playstyle and what you're doing in game, PvE, PvP, and World v. World. It's almost like they had all these ideas for really cool traits that they never put into the game for the other classes and they just stuffed it all into the Revenant. Replenishing Despair, incoming conditions heal you for a small amount. I wish you could see my face right now. Another one called Close Quarters reduces range damage by 10% outside a 600 range threshold. Okay, one more. Eye for an eye. So when you're getting stone locked, this trait will taunt the foe for three seconds. Three seconds. Sure, it's on a 45 minute cooldown, but it's still a game changer in a the fight. There are some sick combos you can do with these, and this is not even finished yet. Just looking over everything, this is shaping up to a class that I want to play. Complex situational combos is written all over this. It's like they took all the creativity that they have for the past two years, mix it together with all the experience that they had with players playing their game, like the three times blast finisher for the Mace 3. Oh my gosh. And toss it all into one class. Now, all I need is my Revenant's name and I'm good to go.